Plenty of pressure on the 1-3-2 of Daryl Gurney. Triple 19 would leave in the bullseye. And this is where Aspinall Devon is first start. Real big confidence if he takes it out early. He's got the first leg. And just as the, the most disciplined and, and, and it's the demeanour, like you said, I mean, that shows. And, and yeah, Nathan Aspinall just taking all of his chances as he poised, yeah, for another oh, second no, maximum no, of the no, night. And the 56th, 184, the Premier League so far. Yes, and the 180 against the throw again for Aspinall. So a chance here for oh, another break and throw. To go three legs to nil up. He's only thrown 12 darts. 10 now. Sorry, 10 darts and now double 16. Back to 12 dark legs, he's gone. Double 12. Chilish into the sixes. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. I mean, they were important darts that were missed, and that gurney could really spoil it here for Aspinall. Change of double there as Gurney missed the 32. Wasn't finding himself. Previous leg. 82 now for Nathan Aspinall. 17 for tops. 62. These darts 56. will come back to haunt him. Donald's certainly going to look for the 16. And then rush up to the tops that he so easily took out. But is it the same visit? Simply done, Daryl Gurney punishing the missed darts from Nathan Aspinall. Well, as you can see, it's the flight blocking that double more than the barrel. Clean target there. 16. What a miss. What a bit of luck. 49. Has come Aspinall's way. 17 for double 16 and it's a breaker throw and we're down to the business end of this game and strike in the middle it's tough though it's 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 the mind that comes into play i mean he's so close now and you can see the the winning line as well and that's to guarantee a point Dark leg of the match. Dal knows that the game's in Nathan Aspinall's hand and he'll just want to just leave it there. But what can Aspinall do with three in his hand? Well, tops for the game. One missed. Oh dear, oh dear. He gets it. He finally gets the win, Nathan Aspinall. And you can see what that means to him. That's Averaging 81, and that's all scoring, by the way, because doubling is perfect. That's perfect. Well, even with that average, though, if you look at the score line here, and it should be 2-2 two, two in a second. So no bother at all about no. having a poor no. average thus far. One run on 40. They will get better. You have my personal guarantee. 32. How awkward is that? I know he's moving over, but sometimes don't Peter get the player's Peter. view. Well, that was a great dart from Peter Wright. It's not much of a leg to be in control of. 15 darts to get to 76. <laughs> it's it's sizing up for the 18th dart of double here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to pop it in 17, John. Well, I've got to say, the way he keeps coming over to that... That left hand side from the double 16 and double eight. Yeah, and I, I see what, that's true. And this is where Glenn hits these shots, and it's double 16 left, and and he does get out of trouble. 18. Not this time. He you require 24. Does he put him off because he should have? You know, he missed the so high. He's no, he's right in. 
I'm not saying this isn't an, a really important match for Glenn Durrant. Of course it is, but you just it's more important for Peter Maybe Wright, John, isn't it? He's already qualified Glenn Durrant. Yes, he wants to win the league, of course, but Peter Wright is in a precarious position. The ball is there for Peter Wright. Up with some, some visits, some timing. One round of Both in 7 one is that one. Will probably mean zilch. Has he got a move? The answer is no. Floats one over the top and gets it. Peter Wright has a point. Let me see some. The bullseye, real early in the piece. Peter Wright is not going to clean up with it. One round of forty. Let me require fifty-six. Well, he can't afford to miss this. He needs a good adjustment. Gets one. It was perfect adjustment with the 170 if Peter doesn't take this out. Double five now for an 8-6 win. Rubbish, he said. Give Glenn Darren a chance at your peril. Well, he certainly knows he can do it. He needs those two trebles, though, and that's <laughs> really been a struggle for him in this match. I'm certain the whole darting world was thinking, you're going to get this, Glenn, aren't you? I'm certain of it. Hey, do you require Look, this fight? isn't a gimme. This isn't a gimme. And look how he's obscured the double one. Is he going right or left? He went to the left-hand side. What a brilliant double one from Peter. Michael Van Gerwen, when it comes to those tight matches, he doesn't seem... Uh, as likely as he used to. And when I say used to, I'm just I'm on about March, April time. Well, what way is he going to go? Treble 20 or for the 25? Looks like the 60. treble 20. He's not one of these that fences his, uh, doesn't fence his chances of hitting a treble with the first two darts run. Sometimes during the last two weeks, Gary's finishing it just looked as good as it's ever been and then within a heartbeat it goes missing again 59 there's a whistle on the 61 for Van Gerwen he's in control of this leg as well Ah, oh, this is Van Gerwen S. 70. Rod, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's had six starts. He's back. Yeah, another break of throw. Oh, he's pinning the doubles. 63% on the doubles, five out of eight. And Van Gerwen. Yep. Well, you said he liked the double 18, Wayne. A long way no composure. No I mean, composure. A lot of people like the double 18, but the switch to the nines is not a great switch. Whoa. A little bit waspy there from Gary. He's got a knife leg. Oh, he was angry there, wasn't yeah, he? You're not kidding. Gary leaves 36. Michael could have easily have left a single to double combo. Now it's treble to single to double. 17. Cannot rush this. Because otherwise you cannot stand up quick enough. Well, with his stance, he does lean more forward than most players, doesn't he? Hansen doesn't miss the double. Michael just leans forward. Do you think Michael, if he gets a poke? Oh, he couldn't, could he? Tops! That would have been cruel beyond cruel. Michael Van Gerwen could go 14 here. No, he's going for an 18. Double 16. Wow, what a break of throw. Ropey, I think that could have put him off on tops. 51. Well, Gary Anderson's 51. had a stinker of a leg just at the time when Michael Van Gerwen wanted him to. Composes himself. Go 
and gets double top on the very, very last stop. They drew 6-6, six, six, both playing very well, right around 100 average, so uh, maybe they can settle that score too. Great effort for Price to pull himself down and really threaten the throw of Michael in this first leg. Single 17, though, and he'll have a dart for tops for 108. What an answer to a 180, and sometimes those 180. Holy throw. They kind of had a good marker, didn't use it. Struggling a bit. What must be a relaxed chance now for Smith to break the throw. Tops. Double 10. Game shot on the full play. Ruthless, really, just continued right through the match with this. He just looks so relaxed and uh, really just out to do a job on Gerber Price. No doubt, and it's another a fourth maximum for Price. But his, his checkout percentage is the one that's killing him. Michael Smith, though, just obviously showing his scoring power, though, just consistently hitting the treble. Go and Price now with the magical nine data. The opportunity. John, will you call the... Uh, he's responded well, and he's actually had five 180s to Michael's one in this match, which is a little out of ordinary, but this is alive. Dart eight goes in, dart nine is forthcoming. And he didn't not give it a chance. He gave it every chance, just a little too much. Price just paused and Smith very sympathetic for that and he knows how good it feels to hit one as we said 81 that would require 24 it's the 24 that got away he would want it to come one dot it's the season in a match one going to require one quick there from Smith but Go on Price now, looking for the bullseye. Yeah, He's got it! One, six, four. For his first time plus finish. Go on Price, just certainly just turn it on. Going from the Iceman. Does the man on fire. Go on Price steps up now and needs two treble twenties. And he doesn't get, he's not gonna, not gonna have the opportunity and Michael Smith comes back for 22. Why can we require 22? Double 11. Is it awkward? Maybe. Yeah. Not. <laughs> He's got it. Oh, he's got that look of what on earth did I just do there? He had the idea of taking it for sure. So it is, in fact, a double 10. Gets Price sort of a chance. He'll need Aspinall and Baker win the lose tomorrow.